Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 new tips and tricks that you will be able to find on your iPhone running the new iOS 16.2. As you probably know, iOS 16.2 has recently been released and it is packed with new features and changes and there are of course tips and tricks that you need to know that you will probably find useful and use on your iPhone on a daily basis. Now before we get started with the first trick, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. I'm noticing that most of you guys that watch my videos, even though you watch them, you're still not subscribed to the channel so if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them please make sure to subscribe it really helps the channel a lot and we're starting things off with iMessage now Apple has improved the search on iMessage a lot with iOS 16.2 they can search for specific words on a conversation or maybe for photos like search for things that are on the photo maybe just search for car and it will show you all the photos that you have on your conversations that contain a car just like you do on the photos app or you can basically search for maybe a link or anything you want so if i search here you can see if i try to search for episode it will find that word on the conversation but it will also find the link right here so if i tap on it you can see right there it shows me the conversation where that word is but it will also find the link you can always tap on see all of course if you have multiple results Apple has done a great job on the shortcuts app with iOS 16.2. They have added quite a lot of new actions and one of them is my favorite. It is this one right here. All I have to do is tap on the shortcut and in a second I have a new wallpaper on my device. This new shortcut with this new action actually will allow you to switch between any of your lock screen wallpapers in a matter of a second. Now let me show you guys how to do that. So you head onto the shortcuts app, tap the plus button, and then tap on add action and search for wallpaper. And this is the result you will get. Tap on switch between wallpapers, tap on wallpaper right there. and It will show you a list of all the wallpapers that you have on your device. So you can select any of them. I can select this one in this case and tap the dumb button and now all i have to do is just tap right there you can see there i have the new wallpaper or here i have the old shortcut tap there again i have a brand new wallpaper in a second now what's really cool about this new action that apple has added to the shortcuts app is that you can also use it using automations so if you want to have like a certain wallpaper set on your device at a certain time you can actually do that pretty easily so let's say i want to have a certain wallpaper every time i wake up in the morning i can tap on create personal automation go to time of the day so basically you can use this with everything maybe when you connect to your wi-fi you know that you get home you have a different wallpaper or maybe when you're working out or maybe when you're on any of the do not dis any of the focus modes or anything you want so let's just go with time of the day here we can select any time we want and then tap on the next button and now again search for wallpaper from here select switch between different wallpapers tap on wallpaper choose the wallpaper you want tap on done tap on next make sure you have this disabled tap on don't ask done once again and just like that you will have that wallpaper set on your device automatically at the time of the day that you want apple has also added a lot of new actions on the shortcuts app for books now this one is my favorite tap right there and it takes you to your current book as easy as that so it's called open current book you can create it pretty easily from the shortcuts app head on to shortcuts tap on the plus button and search here for books and from here we'll get all the different actions and you have this one right here so it will have a lot of those that have been added but this one right here is the one that i just showed you guys tap on done and then you can just quickly open the book anytime you want without having to go to the books app and search for your book or something like that you just tap here and you're good to go now with ios 16.2 there have been a lot of changes for game center as well now you can actually add a game center widget for recent activity 
Now this also allows us to tap on it and it will show you the recent activity, of course, your activity and your friends activity and what you can also do with iOS 16.2. You can now actually use share play with gaming. So if you're in a FaceTime call with your friend, you can start a game, of course, using share play. That's a new feature added to iOS 16.2. New on iOS 16.2 is, of course, an app called Freeform. This is Freeform. You probably have seen the app by now. Now, it actually allows you to just collaborate with people, just bring your ideas to the app, create anything you want. It actually has a lot of features that you probably don't know about. Now, first of all, if you tap here, you will have the ability to insert pretty much anything. You can scan a document and insert it here. You can insert any file from your files app or a link, or you can just use the camera or your photos and videos so it allows you to just attach anything you want and it's pretty pretty easy to use so you can attach also like sticky notes you tap here you have a note you double tap on it you can go ahead and edit it of course you can change its color here you can do pretty much everything you want tap on the three dots you can duplicate it or change its style and everything you want so you will have basically here to a total like package anything you want like different shapes you have here different categories of shapes that you can go ahead and add to your project of course you will have text and you will have the markup tools as well now here is another great feature of the freeform app now the freeform app allows us to select any object that you have on the app and then it will show you a different tools right here which of course you can use to actually edit that subject all you have to do is just tap on it and it will change here so if it's a photo you can actually maybe crop it if you want to just like that you can see you can resize it you can actually crop it any way you like tap the done button once you're done so again if, it's, if you select it you will have other options here like maybe duplicate it or tap on the three dots and you can see here you have a ton of different options like you can add a description you can change the style add rounded corners add a shadow lock it maybe duplicate it or of course cut and copy so you will have this toolbar right here with a bunch of really useful tools as you probably know, with iOS 16.2, Apple has added a new stocks widget. So it's this bigger widget that will show you the name right there, the symbol. It will show you the change and it will also show you the chart. That's really cool and one of the best widgets that you have from stock apps on iOS. It's a really nice widget. But did you know that once you have added this widget, it will show you whatever you have at the top of the list on the stocks app but you can go to the edit mode and just tap on it tap once more it will show you your list everything you have there and you can just go ahead and from here change to anything you want so you don't have to keep the one that it will show you automatically you can just pick anything you want to see there there's a really cool new option for notes as well when you have a note and you're collaborating with someone you can tap there and it will give you this option to enable participant cursor now what this will do it will show you on real time who is editing the note so if you have a bunch of people you have this enabled on real time you will see who is actually taking action and editing the note currently and last but not least we're talking about the weather app i showed you guys on a previous video here what you can do now with the weather app you tap on the weather forecast you can see the weather forecast minute by minute not just by hour but that will also work here so all the things that you have here like uv index sunset to sunrise and everything you can just tap on it it will show you the same thing and you will also have here the chart minute by minute so uv index everything now can be seen by minute which is really really cool so that is it for this video guys these are 10 new tips and tricks that you need to know if you have your iphone updated to ios 16.2 hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one